This week in the Missouri Senate, we review what's in store for an interim Missouri Senate committee. We're just going to sort of set out general guidelines of what we'd like to look at with the tax credit system that we have in place. The Missouri Senate Interim Committee on Tax Credit Efficiency and Reform held its first meeting on July 30th. During her opening remarks, Committee Chair Senator Cindy O'Loughlin of Shelbina talked about the panel's goals for the coming months. This includes looking at tax credits efficiency and impact on the state. If the state invests the dollar, the return on that investment will be a certain amount of money. So many times the return on the investment is considered to be two or three dollars if we invest a dollar. And in one particular case, I have a little note that says the return on investment is $13.50 for every dollar that we invest. If that is truly the case, then I need to sell our business and we need to invest in that. She adds she believes there is one weakness in relation to these tax credits. There's no comprehensive system which allows current and accurate data to be reported and shared throughout our government. In our business, we look at numbers periodically. In fact, we look at them every day. Why do we do that? Because our position can change in a moment. And if that's the case in our business, then think about the case of the state's business, which is involving billions of dollars. Tax credits are nothing new for Missouri lawmakers. This year's regular legislative session saw several measures aimed at some sort of reform. This includes Senate Bill 28, which related specifically to the low-income housing tax credit. When this measure was heard in the Missouri Senate Economic Development Committee on January 29th, committee member Senator Jill Shoup of Creve Coeur voiced her concern over these tax credits and how they work with wraparound services. He talked about people who are previously incarcerated, so offenders, people with mental illness, and that's really what I'm sort of focused on. How are people able to live and maintain a life in those homes without those wraparound services? During Missouri Senate floor debate on the proposal on February 13th, Senator Shalone Kiki Curls of Kansas City mentioned some sort of compromise on tax credits remains years in the making. Clearly the entire time I've been in the Senate, when we have talked about restructuring our tax credit plan here at the state. For years, we've not been able to come up with a good compromise, and we finally are at the place where we have folks on board, everybody on board. Senate Bill 28 did not pass this year. The Missouri Senate Interim Committee on Tax Credit Efficiency and Reform, in the meantime, has scheduled three more hearings between now and the end of the year. And remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. Reporting from the State Capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.